Hello guys, welcome back to Miss Pridmore's Math Lessons. Today we're gonna get started with our application problem for lesson 11 in module seven. Hoping this view might be a little easier for y'all to see. Let's go ahead and read the problem carefully together. It says Tracy has 85 cents in her change purse. She has four coins, circle the word four, or the number four. Which coins are they? Hmm. So we need four coins and we need them to make 85 cents, right? So let's start with writing a letter A because we're only answering the part A of the question, right? Okay, it says to draw a picture. Well, let's try this, okay? Let's see how we can make 85 cents using four coins. Is four coins a big number or a small number? Yeah, it's kind of a small number, right? That's not a lot of coins to work with. So I'm going to say that we're probably going to need our quarters so that we can use fewer coins, right? So let's try starting to write quarters, right? We start with a 25. If I add another quarter, how much is that going to be total value? Right, 50 cents, right? So I have 25 cents and 25 cents, that's 50 cents. If I add a third quarter, that brings me to 75 cents, right? Now I only have one more coin left. What can I add to 75 to give me 85? That's right, a dime. If I add a dime, I'll now have 85 cents. So which coins are they? We're just going to answer this right up top here. And we're going to write three quarters and one dime, okay? You didn't have to write a complete sentence for that one. Ms. Primor is giving you a break. I don't know why I put a period here. Okay, let's keep going. It says, how much more money will Tracy need if she wants to buy a bouncy ball for $1? Okay, remember that how much more is a good indicator. That's a big clue for us. It tells us that we either need to count on or subtract to find the difference between the two. I think it's easier in this case to subtract, okay? So we have 85 cents already, but we wanna get to $1. So let's put 100 cents minus 85 cents. Now, where did I get 100 cents? Because I know that $1 equals 100 cents. Okay, so now I just need to subtract 85 from 100 and then I will know how many more cents I need. Can I take 5 from 0? No, I can't, right? Can I borrow or unbundle a 10? Nope, there's no 10s to unbundle. So I'm going to need to unbundle a 100 and bring it to the tens. That'll give me 10 tens to work with. But now I need to unbundle one of these tens and bring it to the ones. So now I have 10 ones minus five ones equals five, and nine tens minus eight tens equals one ten. That leaves me a total of 15 cents. So our answer statement will be Tracy needs 15 cents more. Great job, everybody.